This next one here, I feel like honestly looks like it could be from a Ritzy or something. The Emma Chamberlain yoga style pants. These give me like 2007 vibes and I love it. <laughs> Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chloe for those of you who don't know me and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a Shein Sheen haul. I don't know if I'm saying that right just because everyone says it differently, but I'm gonna be doing a huge haul from them. Down below, I'm gonna link for you guys my sizes and all the things that were listed in this haul just so you can reference if you want to. I bought all these pieces within the last couple of weeks. If you guys are new here, make sure to like and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, so the first piece that I have is actually the top that I'm wearing right now. It is just this white long sleeve shirt that has these beautiful loose sleeves it just zips up on the side here the chest area is kind of loose around where your boobs are so it's up to you if you want to wear a bra with it or not I think it's just the style of the shirt I got it in a size small it's probably one of my favorite things that I got so the next thing that I got are just a couple basic tank tops they are just little tanks and they have ties along the side here so you can adjust them I got these in a size small and I just got them to layer with I was in love with the blue one so I actually decided to go and get a pink one as well they're super stretchy and I feel like they'll be super cute to wear in the summertime just like with a pair of shorts or like a cute skirt or something The next tank that I got is just this little white spaghetti strap top I had one of these before but I ruined it because I think I was drinking red wine or something and I spilt on it Size small as well. Great material. It's like super stretchy I think you can wear this without a bra and not have it be completely see-through Obviously wear pasties with it if you want to be a hundred percent But this one is super cute along with the white one. I got a really similar one in black This one is the same style same spaghetti straps however I feel like the material on this one's a little different while the other one feels more like spandex this one feels more like polyester and cotton so it's not as smooth so another one I got is this really cute white kind of bustier top I love the top of it because it's super ruched it just cuts off in the midsection adjustable straps on it I feel like you could definitely wear this out whenever we can go out again so the next one that I'm showing is this little black leather top I actually got this to be a cat for Halloween but I think it is super cute. There's just little clasps up the front of it to do it up. It takes a while, I'm not gonna lie. It's super stretchy. I got this in a size small, but I probably could have gotten it in an extra small. Definitely will wear this out whenever I have the chance to. This next one here, I feel like honestly looks like it could be from a Ritzy or something. Just a long sheer top that ties up in the front, but it's super cute. I love the bell sleeves on it. I feel like it'd be really nice to wear out to dinner. You can definitely wear it with like a little bralette or a little tank top underneath. Okay guys, so the next one I have is this long sleeve kind of champagne shiny shirt. I feel like the material of this one also looks like it's expensive just because the design, the little flowers that are all detailed across it. I would probably size up in this one though. I think I got a medium in it and it just fits me. There's two little ties in the front so you can wear it tied up or you could just leave it loose like I did. Whatever you're feeling. The next one I have is this white. I feel like I got a lot of white in this haul and I don't know why because I literally ruined everything else that's white. But I got this white little blouse. I'm definitely gonna wear it to work when Whenever we go back into office. The actual shirt's not see-through even though the sleeves are. Be a businesswoman and everything. I love it. Another white top. It's just a little white shirt that has really cute bell sleeves on it. I feel like it's gonna be really nice to layer with it. I think this high neck too is one of my favorites to wear. I think this is called like a mock neck but I really like it. I like the neckline. I like the frills. I feel like it's cute and girly. I think this is the last little white shirt that I got. This one is just just a cute little collar shirt. I honestly bought this shirt because of the collar. I wanted to be able to wear big sweaters on top of it. I got it in a size small though. I probably would recommend sizing up and getting a medium in it just because the material is not very stretchy. I'll probably wear it in the summertime with a pair of like big oversized jeans. The last of the white tops. So with everything that happened this year and staying at home, I definitely have been living in my pajamas, comfy sets. So I decided to get a couple of kind of comfy lounge sets. I got two of them. First one is this pink t-shirt set. And guys, I cannot get over how soft this t-shirt set is. It's so cute, it's oversized, and you know what? I would probably honestly wear this out to the store even though it looks like a pajama set, just because it's so comfortable. And you know, it's, it's shorts and 
t-shirts. It's fine. I just wear them with sneakers and some sunglasses and wear them on out. So the next one that I got is this light blue oversized lounge set again. The actual quality of this set too is so nice. It's probably one of the more expensive things from Shein if you're ordering. I think the set was probably like 30 bucks, but it was so worth it. I love this. I literally live in this lounge set at home. Speaking of loungewear, I also got this little cropped cookie. A cookie. I just said cropped cookie. I also got this little cropped hoodie and it's in a nice kind of khaki color. The best way I could describe this hoodie is buying a hoodie from like Brandy Melville or Garage. Like just, it's literally just a cropped hoodie. I got this in a size medium and it's still not super oversized, but I like the length of it. Definitely a cute sweater just to lounge around in. I think this is the last top that I have and it is this beige sweater. This sweater has really cool sleeves on it. They're kind of like bell sleeves and again it's a mock neck I think I'm just obsessed with the color of it like I think it's like a really pretty beigey pink color sometimes you never know to expect machine the material can be a little bit iffy but the quality of this sweater was really good next item is probably my favorite thing that I've gotten from Shein yet and it is this black puffer vest. I have been wanting a new vest for so long and I always thought maybe I'd get one from the North Face or Mountain Warehouse or somewhere super expensive. I didn't want to spend like 100 to 200 bucks on a vest so I got this one off Shein. I think this actually might be a men's vest but I just got it in a size small. And yeah, I would totally recommend this to anybody. Next we have a little plaid jacket. This one's really nice. It is just an oversized plaid jacket. Covers your bum, has loose little sleeves. Kind of gives me like Nancy Drew vibes. Yeah, I love this one. Now on to some pants. So again, like I said, I have been buying so many kind of like lounge sets. So I got these pants guys and I am obsessed with them. They are like these black genie style pants. I feel like I'm in Aladdin. I just want to hop on a magic carpet in these because they are so comfy and they're super stretchy. I would recommend sizing down in these just because I think these are an extra small and they're massive. But they're really comfy and they come in a whole bunch of different colors. These next pair of pants are super trendy right now. These are like the Emma Chamberlain yoga style pants. I've been seeing them everywhere on TikTok and Instagram and I got two different styles of them. So the first kind of style I got are these super thin cotton style. They are really high waisted. I would definitely recommend sizing down in these. I got extra smalls in both of them and they're still super stretchy and there's still a lot of room in them. I read reviews of people saying to size down in them which is why I size down. The only thing about this pair is that they are a little bit see-through just because the material is so thin. Thin, you know, maybe with like a super big sweater that they would be fine because nobody can see anything. The other pair, I'm wearing them right now. These ones are my favorite out of the two of them. These ones are not see-through by any means. So if you were getting them, I would probably recommend getting this version of them. They have this like stripe pattern that goes up and down them. So they honestly look like a little fancier than just the regular ones. I feel like I could wear this pair to work if I wanted to. But yeah, I hopped back on the trend. Yoga pants are back in style and I'm happy about it. So now I'm going to get into some accessories. So I'm just gonna start off by showing you guys these little gold hoops. The little gold chunky hoop is super trendy right now. So the next thing that I got are a couple pairs of sunglasses. So this is the first pair of sunglasses, guys. I feel like I am in a Hilary Duff music video when I'm wearing these. I'm kind of obsessed with them though. I think that they're super cool, they're different. They look like they're super expensive, even though they're not. I feel like I can't wait until, you know, I'm on a beach one day, on vacation, I'm just chilling with the margarita with these on. Yeah, these give me like 2007 vibes and I love it. This is the second pair that I got. I feel like these are like the Haley Bieber glasses. Like they look like the super fancy ones that all the Instagram influencers wear. And they were super cheap, but they look super cute. Next things that I got are a couple of bags. So this is the first bag. I honestly haven't worn this out anywhere yet because I haven't had anywhere to go to wear it. I just got this because I needed a new little black purse. And I just figured when we can go out to the bars again or go out to restaurants or anything that this will be a cute little staple piece to have. So the next piece that I got is this little houndstooth shoulder bag. I do like this. I just thought the color was gonna be a little different on it. I think I was expecting more of like a yellowy brown tone and it's more of like a burgundy red. Still really cute. I'm still gonna wear it. It's got so much space on the inside and yeah, I feel like it'll just be a cute bag to wear when I'm going grocery shopping or you know, just running some errands. And it's a fabric material so I feel like if if it did get dirty, I could just throw it in the wash. I've never bought a pair of shoes off Shin before, but I couldn't resist when I saw these little slides. I know what you're thinking, Chloe, it's December. You live in Canada, why are you buying sandals? I don't know. 
I don't have a reason. I'm just gonna wear them next year. Got these in a size seven and a half, which I think is a 37 to 38 on the sheen sizing, and they fit me perfectly. So yeah, I'm ready for next year with these bad boys. Okay, guys, the next thing I have are little travel bags. First one is this black mesh travel bag. This has been perfect, going back and forth from Guelph and Waterloo. I put all of my toiletries in here, which is super nice because you can see what's in here. This is great for traveling, and you could definitely put your makeup in here too. I also got this travel bag, which I know that I'm not gonna be able to use for a while until I actually get to go somewhere next. But I'll just use this as like a makeup toiletry bag. It has a little hook here. You can like hang it on the doors, like Q-tips, cotton pads. This will probably be like a skincare bag for me whenever I go somewhere. It says travel on the front of it. Also got a pack of gold earrings. Pack came with so many, but I'll probably just wear these little gold chunky earrings. But yeah, these ones were super cute. Okay guys, so the very last little baggie that I have here is just everything that I'm getting for stocking stuffers this year. I know she is super popular for clothing, but they also have so many cool small bathroom home decor things. I was just adding stuff to my cart and I saw some of this stuff at the end, so I'm just gonna show you guys really quick what I'm giving. First thing that I have is a little faucet splasher. I think it was just to go on your sink so you can like move the faucet around. It's got like 360 degree rotation, so that's for my mom. Something else that I got for my mom is just this little toothpaste dispenser. You put the toothpaste in like here and I think you just press it, toothpaste comes out of it. If this works really well, I'll probably end up getting one for myself. For anybody who loves wine, this might be a good one for you. It is a air pressure corkscrew. So I think if you have a bottle of wine, you just put it on the top and press down. It has instructions on the back here how to do it. But yeah, you just push down and it pops the wine cork open. Yeah, so this is for anybody who drinks like a white or a red where you have to screw it off. I feel like this is a good gift to give. Something else I got is just a pack of makeup brushes. I'm probably gonna split these between my sisters and my mom just because there's so many in this pack. Yeah, just new eyeshadow brushes. These had really good ratings on the website. I think there's six or seven of them in here, so I'm gonna give these to them. And the last little home thing that I got is this shampoo brush. If you guys can see, you're supposed to use it in the shower and like rub it in your scalp to shampoo. I don't know how well it's gonna work. It was just something that I thought would be fun to try. Okay guys, so that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you guys are new here, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.